is lesson 7.2, multiplying polynomials. You should be on page 366. In this lesson, you will learn to, how to multiply binomials. You will learn how to multiply binomials and trinomials. Now here the book says use the FOIL method. I am going to explain the FOIL method, but we will emphasize distributing instead. So I want you to know what FOIL is, but we will actually distribute to multiply these. And I think you'll see why when we get to that in the video. Let's talk about multiplying binomials first. The multiplication, the product of two polynomials is always a polynomial. You can use the distributive property to multiply two binomials, and that's what we're going to emphasize here. We're not going to use the vertical method. We'll just use the horizontal method for multiplication. When you go and, and you see textbooks going forward, you won't see vertical method. You'll see horizontal a lot. So this is the, this is the way I'd want you to be able to identify and, and do these. So let's look at the sample, x plus 2 times x plus 5. You notice how we have a binomial in front, a two-term polynomial. So since by means 2, we're going to double distribute. We're going to take x times x and x times 5. I'm going to take x. Let me highlight it. I'm going to take this x and distribute it through. So let's do that. x times x, x times 5. So that'd be plus x times 5. Now, by. There are two different distributings we have to do. I have to also distribute the 2. So let's do that now. I'll do that in blue pen. So now I have 2 times x, which is positive 2 times x, and then positive 2 times positive 5. Now let me simplify all this. x times x is x squared. x times 5 is 5x. 2 times x is 2x. And 2 times 5 is 10. And do you see like terms here? I get x squared plus 7x plus 10 which is what they have here. I am just double distributing because by means two. I gotta, I gotta distribute two terms through the x plus five. If you handle your problems in this way, this lesson's gonna be easy. You can also multiply binomials using a table. Um, you won't see the table method beyond this course, like when you go to geometry or advanced algebra, you won't see this, but if you really struggle with multiplying polynomials, you could use this method. It's not wrong. It looks a little uh, kiddish, I guess you could say. I mean, if you get to uh, Mr. Keller's trig class and you're doing this, it's not incorrect. You might look at it like, hmm, all right, but it's, it works. Here's how you use the table method. You take this box is x times 2x, which is 2x squared. This box is taking x times negative 3, which is negative 3x. This box is 5 times 2x, which is 10x. And this box is 5 times negative 3, which is negative 15. And now let's look for our like terms. Let me highlight my like terms. I have x's and x's here. So I have 2x squared. When I combine those both together, I get positive 7x. And then I have the minus 15 and there would be the table method. What I would like you to do is pause the video and I would like you to try these four questions. Pause the video and try those four. And we're back and you should have gotten these responses when you use the distributive property or you use a table to find the product. Those four responses. If you're not getting those, make sure you ask in class. Now, the FOIL method, this is why I'm not necessarily a huge fan on the FOIL method. It's a shortcut, but it only works if you're multiplying two binomials. Okay, remember, binomials mean two terms. So if I'm multiplying two binomials, this works. But here's the thing. I've already showed you this in my last slide when we talked about double distributing because that's all this is. So let's take the example that they have here. By the way, this is what FOIL means. It's an acro acronym, F-O-I-L. F means first terms. 
O means outside, I means inside last. So when I was in school, and I guarantee your parents have learned this also, FOIL means first, outside, inside, last. Okay? Let's do this problem with what I taught you on the previous slide, and you're going to see I'm doing the same thing. Okay? This is a binomial. So the first thing is I have to take this first term and distribute it. So look what I did. I've got a color coded first terms. I did multiply the first terms. I multiplied x and x. And then outside terms. I did multiply the outside terms. I did x and 2 next. Maybe I should highlight them down here also. There are my first terms. There are my outside terms. Okay, now inside terms. I have to multiply 1 and x, and I did. And then the last terms. I have to multiply 1 and 2, and I did. I'm doing FOIL. I'm just calling it double distributing. So when you do all that, x times x is x squared, x times 2 is 2x, 1 times x is 1x, and 1 times 2 is 2. You can simplify here into 3x. You get x squared plus 3x plus 2, which is what the book gets by doing FOIL. Okay? So if you double distribute, as I've shown you here, you're already FOILing. Okay? So FOIL means first, outside, inside, last. You probably ought to write that down. That'd be a good audit question. First, outside, inside, last. Okay? So again, I, I would say that we should at least know that, but when you double distribute, you're FOILing. Why don't you pause the video? It says use FOIL here. I just use just double distribute. I want you to take these four, double distribute, and find the uh, products of each of these multiplications. And you should be getting the following here for 5 through 8. Again, if you are not getting these, make sure in class before we get going that you raise your hand. We can go through any of these you need to to show how we're getting to what we have here. This gets to multiplying binomials and trinomials. This gets to why I'm not a huge fan of FOIL. See, FOIL doesn't work anymore here because I don't have two binomials. But what I, what I have taught you does work. Okay? We're not going to do the vertical method. We're going to distribute. So look at what I have here. I have a binomial. I have to double distribute. So let me... Let me do that. So let me highlight first. I need to take this x, and I have to distribute it through the trinomial. So let's do that. x times x squared first, then x times negative 3x, and then x times negative 2. And then I have to take, here comes the double distribute, i got to take the 5, and I have to distribute this through the trinomial also. So let's do that. I'll try to color code as I go here, or at least mark it. 5 times x squared is positive 5 times x squared. I'm running out of room here. 5 times negative 3x is negative 5 times 3x. And then 5 times negative 2 is minus 5 times 2. Now let me simplify all this. x times x squared is x cubed x times 3x, that's a negative 3x squared. x times 2 is negative 2x. I have positive 5x squared. Negative 5 times 3x is negative 15x. And negative 5 times 2 is negative 10. And then let me get out my highlighter. We've got to combine our like terms. I have like terms here, because those are both x squared terms. And I have like terms here, because those are both x terms. Let me simplify. I get x cubed, negative 3x squared, plus 5x squared is positive 2x squared. Negative 2x minus 15x is negative 17x. And then I have the minus 10 at the end. And you notice, oops, that's a cube there. My bad, x cubed. There's the answer, OK? So, if you just distribute, you're going to get all these done without having to remember FOIL rules and all this. You're just doing the same thing every time. Here I had to double distribute through a trinomial. Okay? 
this can apply to real life problems. In hockey, a goalie behind the goal line can only play a puck in the trapezoid region, which you see drawn here in the picture, right in here, and they highlighted that here, okay? Um, write a polynomial that represents the area of the trapezoid. So here's how you uh, figure out the area of a trapezoid. It's one half times the height times the two bases added together. So let me color code here. Okay, the height I'll put in yellow. That's here. It's x minus 7 units high. So you notice for h, they put in an x minus 7. And then one base is x plus 10. So you notice they put an x plus 10 in for one of the bases. And the other base is x feet. They put that in for the other base. So my two bases, let me color code. There's one base. There's the other. So this is just replacing these um, expressions into the height and the bases. Now, when you concentrate here, especially right here, we can simplify first. x plus x is 2x, so I have 2x plus 10 times x minus 7. Now right here, I can double distribute x times 2x, x times 10, negative 7 times 2x, negative 7 times 10. They're foiling, I'm just double distributing. And that gets me to here, and then I can multiply the half, distribute the half through. There's my expression, okay? So all I did is just double distribute to help me rewrite this from this mess into here. Now, find the area if the shorter base is 18. So x is 18. So wherever I see x, I can plug in 18, and that would get me to 53 when I plug in 18 and work this out. Let's just do one more before we quit here. Find the product. So here I have a binomial in front. Binomial. Bi means 2. That means I've got to double distribute. So x times x squared is x cubed. x times 5x is 5x squared. And x times 8 is 8x. Now I have to, dis I have to double distribute because I also have this 1. I've got to distribute the 1 also. Let's do that. 1 times x squared is x squared. 1 times 5x is 5x, and 1 times 8 is 8, and now let's combine our like terms. You notice how I have x squareds here and here, and I have x's here and here, so let me combine those. I have an x cubed, 5x squared plus 1x squared is 6x squared, 8x plus 5x is 13x, and then I have positive 8 at the end. There's my expression. I'm going to pause the video here. If you have questions, make sure you ask in class.